so salam everyone welcome to my tutorial on the functions part and this is the part 2 of the functions uh, in this video we'll be discussing composite functions which are also called combined functions now let's a composite function or a combined function is formed when you combine two or more functions meaning if so observe over here that the value of x is the input for your function f we have one function f in which takes up the values of x and gives some output y and if the same output from this function f is inserted in function g meaning now the output from function f becomes the input to function g after entering this function it will generate a new output that's a g now this as you can see is a two step process if you can somehow come up with one function that takes value of x and directly gives you output as z meaning the other the final output such kinds of functions are known as composite functions all right so g f of x is a composite function because it takes function f's output as in its input so g f of x is a function which takes f's output as the input in function g now this will make more sense if we consider this example let's say you have a function f of x equal to 2x and g of x is x plus 1 now when i insert f of 3 in the function meaning i'll find i'll try to find what's the output at 3 at x equals to 3 so at x equals to 3 i can see that the output is 6 all right now when the same output is of f is inserted in function g it gives you another output 7 similarly let's consider this another example if i insert 5 in function f if i insert minus 5 in function f i get minus 10 as my output now if the same output is inserted in function g i get a new output minus 9 so so i can come up with one single function one single combined function that takes an x values that takes the input values of function f and gives me the output the final output so that single function would be called g f of x where f of x is your input to function g now we know that function g is x plus 1 right here was x function g is x plus 1 now as a input to function g you will insert function f and the new function comes out to be 2x plus 1 now this is in function g f of x see when i was inserting 3 the output was now if i insert 3 in place of x i must get 7 which is the final output right similarly in this function when i insert minus 5 so minus 5 times to 10 plus 1 minus 9 i get the same output now these kinds of the, these kinds of functions are known as combined functions or composite function and they can be written as g f of x or simply g f or they can also be written as g not f all these are three ways that you can see the question is talking about the com composite function so how to form a composite function we have been given two functions f of x and g of x f of x is 3x squared plus 1 and g of x is x squared plus 1 in the first part we are asked to form f g of x now this is a composite function this means to insert function g in function f so f g of x would mean 
insert function g as a input to function f so function g is x square minus x square plus 1 now if you solve this you get 3x square plus 3 minus 1 and simplifying this gets you 3x square plus 2 this is your function fg of x similarly if you form g f of x this means that function f is inserted in function g as an input so function g is x square plus 1 right so in place of the input your function f would be there and when you simplify this function what uh, you can get this would be 3x minus 1 the whole thing square and when you simplify this you can get this result 9x square minus 6x plus 2 all right here we are with other example in which a function f of x g of x and h of x are given and in the first part we are being asked to evaluate f g of x function so f g of x means g of x is being inserted in function f function g is being inserted in function f as the input so when you insert function g after simplification you get 6 over x minus 3 that's your composite function f g of x g f h of x implies insert function h in function f first and then the then insert resulting f h of x composite function in function g so we can also write this as g f and we know that function h of x is x square so in the composite function g of f you can insert x square all right now the input will be x square that's fine but how would you be forming g f of x g f function would be formed when you insert function f in function g so let's go back to function g function g is 3 over f of 3 over x so in place of x function f would be inserted which is 2 x minus 3 and we know that in function f function h is being inserted which is x square so the final result you get is 3 over 2 x square minus 3 as your composite function that they have asked now let's look at the third one f f f of x can also be written as f3 of x meaning insert function f into f then insert function f2 into f so function f is 2 x minus 3 right let me write it this way f f of x means insert f f of 2x minus 3 all right so if you just evaluate this part this would mean f of so insert 2x minus 3 into 2x minus 3 right now if you simplify this you get 4x minus 6 minus 3 which is 4x minus 9 now this this over here is f square right now you will insert f square back into f so this the this becomes 4x minus 9 minus 3 and you get result as 8x minus 21 